Hi everyone, it's Jay with Mobile Game Reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! Let's imagine that you have created a very popular game where it is necessary to catapult your heroes at your enemies. Let's also imagine that you have already squeezed out everything possible from this concept franchise, having made a heap of continuations, each of which was slightly worse and or less popular than the previous ones. Your next step? Why to make a raise, certainly! Let's meet Angry Birds Go! I have to tell you, I thought that a transfer of perennially two-dimensional characters into a three-dimensional world, and no good race would do without it, would turn out to be a whole lot of suck. Well, like The Simpsons in the game Hit and Wounds. But hey, nothing terrible happened, and the graphics in principle are quite similar to the ones we saw in other games of the series. For the most part, everything that happens in the game doesn't differ that much from any other decently made arcade racing game. You have your selection of new cars and pumped up versions of the old ones. The thing that's really pleasing about that is this pumping up is visually displayed in the vehicles. So if you invest your money in your wooden box with wheels regularly, eventually it'll look like something worthwhile. New tracks are collected in small packs, and to finish each one it is necessary to battle the boss and win. Each boss has unique abilities. For example, the first boss is a pigeon, and she is able to fly in a soap bubble. The second, a bird bomb. And guess what? She throws bombs! Who'd have known? After your victory over the boss, it is possible to play as and use their abilities. Now let's speak a little about the normal game modes. There's four in each pack. One is a race, where we simply collect coins. There's a versus mode, where you have to beat the opponent. Time bomb, where you have to reach the finish line in a certain amount of time before you blow up. And the last, fruit plant. This one is sort of similar to Fruit Ninja, where you collect watermelons and strawberries. So far, so good, right? Well, in this game there is a donation aspect, and it's fairly impractical. You don't want to wait for 10 minutes for your energy to be restored so it'll be possible to try 5 more times? Give 10 crystals. You want an awesomely cool car? $50 ought to solve that problem. It would be fine if there's a variety in the game, but no. Essentially, only the bosses differ, and you can't get them through experience alone. Donate or race hundreds of times and you'll eventually max out your car. To sum it up, the game is good enough, but you can see that the authors are desperately trying to milk a successful brand for every penny they can, and don't even try to make something really cool or unique in the process. So in the end, instead of milk, you're really just left with a huge pile of pigeon droppings. That's all for today. If you liked it, then follow, put like, and share this video. This was Jay, with reviews from Mob.org. See you!